already see the first signs up for the town of Miltonburg. That's where the ED is docked. We'll go on the roundabout now and then drive in the direction of Miltonburg, 27 kilometres. That's about 18 miles. <laughs> is that correct? Around <laughs> about. <laughs> 18 miles somewhere. <laughs> This is also the last section of winding roads. That wood you see, that's all firewood. In these country areas, you can uh, go out and fell your own trees. The ranger will go out to your mark which trees can be felled. And uh, if you haven't got enough room in your back garden for uh, a woodshed, or if you have a lot of firewood you can keep it on the outskirts of where you live or on the outskirts of the next forest everyone has a special marking and that's uh, dried out over two or three years you can use it in the in the wood stove so most, most houses as well have a wood stove or tiled stove that's additional heating in the country areas here it's all oil central heating and that's very expensive so most people have um, a wood stove state-of-the-art wood stove with special filters in it so that the emissions are as environmentally friendly as possible however there are still emissions and especially if you um, are near the larger cities and use those stoves there can be a a lot of particles in the air so that I don't actually know how long we're all going to be able to use these wood stoves and whether that will be banned because of the emissions. It looks like a lot of buildings have solar panels. Yes, I've just had a question about the solar panels, like definitely you can see that here, yes, many of these um, small farm buildings that have the solar panels or the larger supermarkets that have them they used to be subsidized until about i'd say three four years ago and you'll also notice everywhere the wind turbines notice a lot of them coming up especially in this area here Not everyone is too pleased about the uh, the wind turbines because it doesn't, according to in which state you live, they can sometimes be erected very near the, um, the built up areas and uh, there were complaints about them causing uh, casting shadows on people's properties and 
properties losing value because they have those um, wind turbines nearby but we'll need a whole lot more of those probably um, offshore because it's the aim of the German state they want to have or the government they want to have all the nuclear power plants closed down by 2022 and we need a whole lot more wind turbines and anything sustain renewable and sustainable energy until that time up at the present time I'd say about 33 percent of the energy used in the country comes from renewable and sustainable sources. Often get asked as well about the snow. Do we get lots of snow here? Well, we used to get an awful lot of snow. I remember the shock I had when I uh, first moved over in uh, January of 1980. I had such a shock I arrived to, on the evening of the 1st of January 1980 to start work on this on the second and the snow was knee deep at Frankfurt black ice everywhere it was horrendous my mum had warned me she came from also an area where there's a lot of snow she was used to the cold winters and uh, that snow didn't leave until April and then come November started snowing again and you didn't see the last of it until April of the following year so lots of snow, very, very cold. But I'd say now, the last 15 years at least, the, the winters have become much milder. I mean, we do have a very cold winter in between, but most of the winters now in the past 15 years are much milder. And in fact, we've had years where there's practically been no snow at all. So I have personally really noticed the, the, the change since uh, in the 40 years that I've lived, lived here. So all these walls of stones that you see here in the cages, that's uh, also to keep any of the landslides up because in past few years we have very 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 hard rainfalls it used to be you had the soft summer rain that the particularly the vintners the wine growers liked but now it's either nothing or you get the very very powerful rainfalls and that's why they have all the stone walls here to keep everything in place and they're starting to also to plant a different type of tree one that uh, is better for very very hot summers and also the ones that aren't so tall that have shorter roots that more smaller sturdier trees because Many of the larger ones, particularly in this area, underneath all this earth, there's the red sandstone and a lot of the um, the roots are getting destroyed and that's why it's very dangerous to have too many of the tall trees near the, um, near the roadside. So they're no, all new planning now if they're redoing the trees there, it's all the shorter versions that have the sturdier roots.